everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the Pixel 5a with 5G. Google announced this today, and it's available for pre-order now. Now, this comes in at $449 and is available in just one color called Mostly Black. It looks like it has a little green tint to it as well. So if we look around the box, it just says Team Pixel and gives a little bit of the details. We'll talk about that more in just a moment. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So we'll take off the little pull tabs here. We'll unbox it. And like I said, it's available in one color and let's take a look at it. So here is the pixel itself. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a slight green tint to it, but it's very, very slight. Let's take a closer look at what's in the box and then a closer look at the phone. So we have a SIM card removal tool and then we have some paperwork here. So let's see what we've got. We just have something that says Google and it's sort of a quick start guide as well as a little warranty card. We'll set that aside in the box. You do get an 18 watt charger. So if we spin this around here, hopefully you can see this, but it is an 18 watt charger that comes with it. And then also it's USB C. So it comes with that. And then also comes with a USB C to USB C cable and then a USB A to USB C cable so that you can maybe switch from a different phone. Now let's take a look at the phone itself. So I'll remove the covering off the display and let's talk about what it's made of and more. So the first thing is this is metal this year. It's not plastic. It has a metal unibody construction on the front. It has Corning Gorilla Glass 3, according to Google. And as far as its overall size, it's very similar to the 4A 5G. So as you can see, it looks very familiar. You have your dual cameras and we'll talk more about those in a moment. On the right hand side, you have a power sleep wake button that has this nice texture to it. So it's a little bumpy texture. And then of course your volume rocker below that. On the bottom, you've got a couple speakers and microphone or a speaker and microphone along with USB-C. And then on the other side, you have your SIM card tray. On the top, you've got a headphone jack and another microphone. And you've got your little speaker here at the top of the display. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the SIM card tray. Now, according to Google, this does not have dual SIM support, but it does have a physical SIM and an eSIM. So you can use either or you can use a physical SIM card. It does not have expandable storage. Now, before I boot it up, let's talk about the internal specs a little bit. So this has last year's Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 G in Adreno 620 GPU and six gigabytes of Ram. Now the nice thing is it has a gigantic battery inside that's 4,680 milliamp hours. So that's a huge improvement and one of the biggest, if not the biggest batteries in any pixel device. Also on the front, it's a 6.34 inch display, 2400 by 1080 with 413 pixels per inch, and it supports HDR. Now it has 128 gigabytes of storage internally that's not upgradable, and it's also IP67 water resistant this year, so that should help with dust or water intrusion. And it also has 802.11 A, B, G, N, and A, C, plus Bluetooth 5.0 and LE. Now for a quick size comparison before we boot it up, here is the Pixel 5 next to the new 5A. So it's a little bit bigger and thickness wise, maybe a little bit thicker, but it does have a bigger battery in it. It's very, very close though. And then next to the 4XL, it's very similar in size. So you can see the overall size is very, very close, but as far as the general look, it's basically a Pixel. You have similar thicknesses, similar power button layouts and everything else. Now let's go ahead and boot it up. Now we'll wait for it to boot up. And one thing I noticed just after turning it on is if I move this off axis a little bit, you can see that the screen has a little bit of a shift to a pinkish purplish color. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is a little bit different off axis. Now let's go ahead and set it up. So we'll go ahead and hit start and it says just a sec and I'll skip putting a SIM card in. I'll do that a little bit later. So we'll skip that and we'll connect to Wi-Fi. Now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. It says getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Now it's asking me if I want to copy apps and data. I'll just hit don't copy for now. We'll go to the next screen. It says checking info and now you can sign in with Google. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now you have to agree to all of the terms so you can move forward. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then it wants me to set a lock screen. So we'll go or set a lock pin for the lock screen. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now I can set up a fingerprint and this has a typical fingerprint sensor on the back, just like you would expect. So we'll go ahead and hit next and then just 
put our finger on the fingerprint sensor and get it set up pretty quickly here. And there we go. We could add another, but I'll just go ahead and tap on next. And now it says continue setup or leave and get a reminder. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And it says your assistant will be right with you. And if you want to use Google assistant, you can do that. I'll hit agree and it will recognize my voice already since I've used it before. And then I'll go ahead and hit next. I'll skip setting up Google pay and I won't set up anything else right now. And we'll just hit no thanks on get more tips. So we'll wait just a moment and then we should be able to get to the, the lock screen or the home screen and we can save battery with dark theme. We'll just keep it on that hit next, hit next. It's just telling us how to use the phone and then swipe up to get started. So now we're on the main screen. You'll see it has a nice green tint to it and I haven't changed anything here. We'll tap to get tips, go back home. And now it switches to our weather and the date and time up here at the top. So this is your typical Google home screen, just like you would expect on a pixel. Now this has Android 11 on it. So let's go ahead and take a look here and you can see it comes pre-installed with the June security update. Now, whether or not we get the August security update, I'll have to check for updates, but we'll go ahead and check. And it says it's up to date. So I would expect this to get an update a little bit later to bring it up to the security level of August. But right now it comes pre-installed with the June security update and all the features that go along with that. And so I'll check for that a little bit later. Now, this particular device has three years support minimum, according to Google, and should be supported for that amount of time with updates and more. Now, as far as the overall cameras, I thought we'd take a look at those since the cameras on the back are a big selling point for the pixel. They're not really any different than the previous year. You have a 12.2 megapixel F 1.7, but there's no laser autofocus compared to the 4A 5G. And then you also have a 16 megapixel ultra wide with an F 2.2 aperture. They'll record in 4K 60 on the front you have a 1080p 30 camera that is eight megapixels. So you can record 1080p video with that. So I thought we'd just do a quick video with the forward facing camera and see what it actually looks like and see what it sounds like as well. So we'll do that. And it's asking about location. We'll hit done switch to video and let's spin it around here. And now you can see me on the camera. So now I'm recording with the pixel five a, and this is what it sounds like and what it looks like directly from the camera. I haven't changed anything, maybe just adjusted the audio level so you can hear it at the same level as the rest of the video. So let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And I think overall it should be a pretty nice phone. This looks pretty good. And you can see that the bezel is smaller than what we had with the four a five G. And so I'm really excited to try and use this. It should get great battery life. One thing it does not have is wireless charging, just like the previous year. So you'll have to use the USB C cable on the bottom. I know that's not a huge deal for everyone, but for some people, it may be an issue. Of course, it also supports 5g and sub six, but it's your typical pixel experience. It's can be as customized as you want, go into your styles and wallpapers, and you can see you have all the curated culture that they've just added. If we go back. You've got some of the newer ones. And if I can get my hands on this wallpaper, I'll share that in the description below. Now I've been using this for a little bit and it does seem nice and fast. However, you don't get the refresh rates that you do with the pixel five. So there's no setting or anything for 120 Hertz. It's still at 60 Hertz when scrolling. So it is nice and smooth. It's what you would expect from all of the pixel phones, but you don't get the 90 to 120 Hertz bump that you get with the pixel five. So you don't get that experience, but it is nice and fast to switch between different things such as your settings and then back to Chrome and then the alarm clock. It's nice and fast overall. And then of course, if you want to just clear everything you can, but in general, it is in the lower end price bracket. So you're probably not going to have all of those premium features, but it seems pretty nice overall so far, but it would take more time to figure out if it's something that is comparable to a pixel five for everyday use. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to know about this device overall, since it's pretty familiar, the processor is what we would expect. It's not going to be much different than any other pixel really. 
what we're waiting for is a pixel six or the pixel six XL that they announced a little while ago. So that will be coming out in a couple months or maybe a month at this point. And I'm looking most forward to that, but for now, this is a pretty good deal at 449. but let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Again, I'll try and link this wallpaper. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.